we're talking about crucially crucial and how that sounds funny crucially crucial and we're talking about my role on this planet which is to be an alarm clock a big red alarm clock not a leader not a spiritual this or a political that but an alarm clock just to wake people up and let people know it's very close to midnight and we all turn into pumpkins and they turn out the lights and take away the power and the food and the money's not worth anything and electricity stops running at least they think it does <laughs> the power gets stronger than ever and all you have to do is take away the technology what John Trudeau calls tech no logic things technology no logic but very technical all you have to do is take away the electricity and watch everything just their whole society fall apart because their whole society their whole society is a plug-in society ours is a plug-out society so you just need to smile when you think about that the more they plug in and the more we plug into them the more subservient we are to them what we have to do is unplug just watch a few months ago in new york they unplugged and everything started crumbling but it was only for a few hours if they unplugged for a few days women would be eating their babies things are going to get real strange and real soon as john lennon said there's ufos over new york and i'm not half surprised well he hasn't seen half of them before he left. There's more now than ever. And the motherships are here for a very specific reason and always have been and have always been part of our history and culture. Every culture has talked about the mothership and they don't call it the mothership by accident. Notice they never mention a fathership. Okay, the father's out getting food. The mother's trying to instill wisdom. So when they call them motherships, these guys are gonna be playing sitars inside the motherships. Think about that. That's why they call them the motherships and they open up and they have all these baby ships that actually come down because the mothership has been seen a lot in the last few years and it's huge. It's miles long. It's like a house in the sky. It's like a it's like a city. It's the size of a city. And they call that the mothership. Well, some of us are plugged into the mothership, some of us are plugged into bullship. And the people that are plugged into the bullship need to get connected to the mothership. And as they start unplugging, only those of us who are plugged into the mothership are going to have access to power. Power is an interesting word because we're not talking about fight, might, fight, light, right. <laughs> we're talking about pure energy. And it's all connected. All the energies, the music, the art, the water, the sky, the earth, the animals. I can walk into a field with animals and animals come to me. So I know how to communicate with the animals, which is very simply by understanding I'm an animal and understanding the connection between us and the animals and understanding the oneness between all of us. That's why they call it the mothership. And we have to fight this disease, this virus that's coming around called CSDS, which is hurting us so badly. It's a disease and it's killing our children and our old folks. It's called CSDS, which is common sense deficiency syndrome. That's where people see motherships and they tell you you're crazy. That's where people have ideas about hemp and life and food and they tell you you're weak. And we have ideas about music that's global and they tell us we're utopian and they laugh at us because we don't want to be plugged in we want to disconnect we need to disconnect we must disconnect from their boat which is sinking we need to just jump into the water and be away from their boat so that when their boat goes down it doesn't pull us down with it and we're talking about a cosmic boat an ark and the ark is coming and that's what the mothership is, an ark. And it's trying to find the 140,000. And you all know about the 140,000. It's the elect, the elders, the children, 
those who have chosen to disconnect, those who have chosen to find light in darkness and light within light and a brighter light, a true light, brighter than sunlight. It's the cosmic light. It's the light that caused creation, all the creations, all the universes throughout time, all the earths, all the planets, all the suns. Every day they're finding out there's billions and billions of more suns and more planets and more galaxies. And life is spread throughout all these galaxies. And that's the life that we need to connect to because now we need to disconnect and rapidly, very rapidly, we need to look at the clock and know the time and look at the prophecies. Look at the warnings of the white buffalo in the seventh generation. Look at the earth, look at our disconnection from the earth. Look at our spirit and our disconnection from the spirit. Look at the mother force and our disconnection from the mother force. Look at the sun. Take your sunglasses off and look up into the sun and look at the light. Look at the light. Become part of the light. That's all you have to do on this earth is love one another and be connected to the earth and the light from the sun. And then you get away from the earth and you become part of something cosmic and glowing. Something much more important than money or clothes or food or what you wear or what you dress or what you think someone thinks of you. This goes past thinking. This goes into feeling. This goes into the idea of survival of us as a race and goes into the concept of us as human beings. And the hardest part of being a human being is being human and understanding that being human, you also have a connection with one link to the animal world and one link to the Godhead. And when you connect that link, you realize that you're the peace just below the angels who are just connected to God. And you're connected to God and the angels and the animals. And when you make that connection and you realize who you are and how sacred you are and how destiny can let you rise up high like a cloud or pull away, and sink down lower than the bottom of the ocean. You have to make a choice. You have to make an individual choice. You have to say, I want to be part of the light. When you choose to become part of the light, when you choose to try to understand your place in the cosmos, in the universe, on this planet, even how you treat animals. Do you treat animals with respect? Do you treat one another with respect? Do you treat yourself with respect? Do you wake up each morning with a smile or a frown? Do you wake up each morning and the first two words out of your mouth are thank you? And the second two words out of your mouth are thank you? And the next two words out of your mouth are thank you? And all day, everything that you encounter, whether it's flowers or children, or rain, or pain, or horror, you say thank you. And you have to understand that the reason we're here, the only reason we're here is to learn and to make an adjustment in our karmic level so that we can learn and build. And we're here. Everything that we do is a test. Our relationships with friends and family and lovers is a test. Our relationship with money is a test. Our relationship with music and art and God is a test. Everything is a test. The good is a test, the bad is a test. Sometimes if they want to test you, what they have to do is not, not punish you or give you pain, but give you pleasure and joy and see if it makes you disillusioned. See if you realize that fame and wealth are both equally unimportant and equally fake. Neither one of them are to be what they seem. And when you look at all the connections that we have, all the powers that we have, we have the powers to heal. We have the powers to see into the future. We have the powers to look into another person's heart. We have the power to change our destiny. This is true power and we're losing our power. We need to keep reconnected to our power as a people, as a race, as human beings, which is about being human. And we have to learn how to love one another, how to embrace one another, how to smile at one another, how to enjoy one another, how to with one another, how to just make this planet a place that we want to get up each morning and raise our children in. And the children, let's talk about the children. We have to first feed the children and not just food, but we have to give them food. But not just food, we also have to give them spiritual food. 
We have to give them energy. We have to teach them how wonderful this life is. And we have to teach them the beauty. And we have to teach them there's more to life than just food. And the food is deeper. It's a deeper food. It's a food that keeps us whole and keeps us connected. And each morning when we get up, we have to embrace the sun and say thank you. And we have to embrace the earth and say thank you to Mother Earth. And we have to say thank you to the animals. And we have to say thank you to the birds who bring us music. And we have to say thank you to the insects who pollinate our plants and keep the, li the earth alive. And we have to say thank you to the trees and realize what a magic world this is that trees give us oxygen and without the trees we would not be alive. So we have to learn how to say two words and mean them. And those two words are thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you. There's no reason why the human body should die if you don't punish it. We can live to be 120, 130 and still be strong and still be making babies and still be able to go out and make food and hunt and live and breathe. There's no reason that we should die at 30 or 40 or 50 or 60. There's no reason why the human body should die. We have to respect our bodies and we can live to be strong. Each year that I'm on this earth, I get stronger. Because I know how to say thank you and I take nothing for granted. Every day is a blessing. Every day is another day. 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 Every day is a mother day. Every day is another day. Every day is a mother day. Every day is a mother day for the mothership for another day for you to say thank you. 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 Thank you for the little ones. Thank you for the big ones. Thank you for the oxygen from the trees, from the birds, from the flowers, from the insects. Thank you. 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 Thank you.